Well, I always learn so much from him. Total switch gear here. This is a chance we're gonna move into electronics and we're gonna move into a way for you to uh, sleep better at night with a little bit more peace of mind and knowing that potentially your personal information isn't gonna become somebody else's because you're gonna be shredding all of your important documents. That goes from taxes to bank accounts to medical records to anything with your phone number, your name, your address, your social security number, any kind of account numbers. Oh my gosh, don't just rip them in half and throw them in the trash because guess what? Oh my gosh, security th th uh, fraud has become one of the biggest criminal activities in the world. It's not just exclusive to us, it's all over, but I want you to be prepared. I feel good about my embassy shredder at home. I've had mine for quite a few years. It might be time for an upgrade for me, to be honest. This is a 10 sheet microcut paper shredder. It's got tons of great software to even enhance your security. We'll get to that in a second. But the shredder alone, it's our number one brand. It's the number one brand in the country. We get to do better prices than anybody. This sells for $119.99 on its own anywhere else. It's $120 shredder, so you get $20 off right out of the gate and free shipping to your door. And it's not a lightweight machine to ship, so free shipping is a big deal. That software, it's $120 in software that's going to help you feel more protected because you will be. And we even give you the Hacker Up ebook, and we'll talk more about that. But it's a $250 bundle for all intents and purposes. But for our birthday, we took the price under $100. It's our only embassy shredder at under $100. Every other model is much more more expensive, but this one does the micro or the um, the cross shred. So we're going to talk a micro cut, not the cross shred. That was last year's technology, last decade's technology. Micro cut is going to make it into the smallest of pieces, so nobody could possibly put those pieces back together and come up with your account numbers, right, Bill? Exactly, and that's really what we want to end today. We want to make it harder for them, but easier for us. All our embassies are customer picks because there's the right footprint, tons of features, but more importantly, all those documents that we have lying around the house in a box, you know, in a drawer, we can shred them and get rid of them. That large window, one of our reviewers called it an instant gratification window because you could see it just get shredded right Perfect. before her eyes. You see how we put it on casters so you can wheel it under a desk, wheel it out when you need it. You never have to take the lid off of this unit because you have a, a pull-out drawer. Why is this pull-out drawer great? I take this out to the trash and if you notice, which one's a tax document? <laughs> Which one's a bank statement? This is that micro cut. It's so fine and so small, you cannot piece it back together. A lot of us have shredders at home because we know the value of our identity. Because you know when we actually launched Embassy here about five years ago? The statistic was one in 10 of us fall victims to identity theft. That's a lot, That's one a lot. in 10. And now Currently, what is it? It's one in seven. Oof. It's actually on the rise. So those Gosh. documents that are just sitting around, put them in and you see what happens. So I'm not even counting the number of pages. That social security information, it's gone. I'm not even gonna count those. Medical records, done. And the thing is, it's unidentifiable. So you see the power and the performance. The big thing is get it home. Take advantage of that free shipping because when you do see the clutter go away, when you do see the files that you've been holding onto gone, that feels great too. So it's security, but it's also about getting rid of the clutter at the end of the day too. So you wanna just get this home and put it to the test. See why people have made shredding a customer pick. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but it really does feel good. It's kind of therapeutic for when I do it. Um, the only thing you will be able to discern a difference of is whether it's paper or whether it's credit cards or mm -hmm. whether it's staples because you can put everything through there 10 pages at a time and it's not gonna jam it up. Uh, incidentally, we have great colors and I'd wanna yeah. give you a kind of a little tour of those because you, color matters, you know? Mm -hmm. You've got an office environment, if it's for you, it's for a daughter, if it's for a son. We have black, we have the rose gold, my personal favorite. We also have the red, mm -hmm. this is that burgundy. We've got silver, purple, and blue. It's like a denim blue. So they're all available right now. Blue is gonna go first, I'm told. I think we've sold about almost 3,000 of these over the last couple of mm -hmm. days. It's like an amazing price on this shredder, it really is. Well, that's just it, because you're getting the shredder, you're getting rid of the clutter, you're doing smart, but those other pieces of software are really important. Because you know, our information is not just on the printed page, it's also out there digitally and on our computers. So we're giving you a way to defend your hard drive, privacy cleaner, a hard disk shield, and this is that e -hack, this e-book that you were talking about, that hacker up experience, yeah. a way to manage and protect your identity on social media. I mean, have oh, you ever that's been, important. Totally. Have you been on social media? And it's like confirm your identity with your phone number or your zip code. Oh gosh, and like that's with more of your else information going on right now in the news about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, that's that's really Speaking important. Speaking of the news, there's actually a case in the news right now where they're actually going through a, a lawyer's shred in his office. Yes, they are. And one they? of the commentators <gasps> was like, "Could he have upgraded oh, to crosscut?" I mean, that's not even microcut because I want to show you what has happened. A lot of us have shredders like this.
This is shred from the 70s. Uh -huh. And the thing is, you're trusting your credit score and your identity to something from the 70s. And this one piece of paper, that has identity, pertinent information on it. So don't use 40-year-old technology, because you know what happens? They, they figure it out. it out. They pieced it Look together. So then a lot of us went to crosscut which crosscut was definitely a better option. It's a little smaller of a shred. You can see yeah. the difference right here. But because this has been around for so long, they're able to even piece that together. This is what you're getting right now. It's micro cut. It's a smaller, harder to decipher shred. It fills up the waste bin a lot less. And as you were talking about, it can go through credit cards. Yep. It can go through, I turn it off, it can go through the staples because there's nothing worse when you have you know, a stack of papers and you're like, oh wait, let me open up that envelope. Oh, we went through all our staples. But you can go through document after document, and that's really where you get the performance you know at the end of the day. Shred. I just got, um, I found some, a hotel key in yep. my purse. We, we should shred those after we check out because mm -hmm. there's personal information on those kinds of cards. All the documents, the things you get in the mail that are saying, hey, do you want to apply for a you know, credit increase? Or how would you like to transfer all your balances from an, that card to another card, a 0% APR? Well, them. Shred them. Shred them. And that's really where it's exciting. That's the instant gratification. We hold on to the junk mail because guess what? Our identity is on there. Our, and the thing is we can't just throw these away. They pad these envelopes so we're forced to open them up. They put extra, you know, return envelopes. They put advertisements in there. It's but you know, insane how many things I get for Tristan, my son, mm -hmm. about opening credit cards. Like every single card known to man is sending him offers now that he's out of college and everything. It's like crazy. So, great example. I lost my, I was an identity theft victim actually my sophomore year of college. That's right, So freshman Bill. year. I signed up for every credit card because I got a Frisbee, a t-shirt, I was, <laughs> I got a swag, it was great. However, I paid the price. Yeah. I was a victim of identity theft. I went to get my financial aid check for sophomore year, go to the window, and like, oh, you don't qualify. I'm like, and the thing is, most of us don't realize we've been an identity theft victim until it's too late. Yeah. Until we go to the window and we want our check, or until we expect our tax refund and someone else got it. You mentioned the kids in college. I think this is perfect, because I actually have a small home office. So what I like about this particular one, it's the perfect price point, but it's also the perfect size. Yeah, it is so a good size. I can wheel it underneath the desk. What I do is actually, I leave the drawer open, so then it's my waste bin. Oh, good so thinking. I just throw away the large stuff, and then when I want to shred, I shut the drawer and I can shred. And the machine weighs 14 pounds. So mm -hmm. it is substantial, and so I'm pointing that out partly because free shipping on a 14-pound shredder right. is a really good deal. That's on us right now, and on a flex pay, it's a $20 bill. For peace of mind of knowing that you're not just taking those whatever mail comes in the mail or whatever documents have been sitting around for seven years or mm -hmm. whatever, don't just tear things up, shred them. And I know some of us, if you go to a big company, if you work at a big company, you can take them and put them in their bins. But you know what? I just like feeling like I know I did it. I don't want it going into somebody else's bin to hopefully them have them do the right thing for me. This is such an affordable way to really do the right thing. Quite mm -hmm. honestly, it's the right thing. In the world that we live in today, we should be shredding everything. And do it. I mean, I used to take my stack of stuff to the office because they had a better shredder than That's, I did. Yeah. But then I was nervous about who's going through exactly. the stack on my desk. So right here, I'm actually taking the lid off. You never have to take your lid off but I want you to see the gears inside of here because you can see the strength and the muscle and that's what gives you the micro cut goes through 10 pages and staples and the cool thing is this is has a nice heft to it I'm gonna put it down back on the base I want you to hear that I mean that is solid and yeah. the thing about that that's what ships to you for free but another thing in terms of embassy so you get the embassy you get the software we're even giving you a trash liner and um, a lubricant sheet but look how they thought of everything there's little, little hooks hook. in the bin yeah so it's not gonna fall down that's an embassy just thinking of how we live our lives what we want I put the bin right back inside and I walk away and I walk up to my shredder I don't have to do this because literally it's one in seven of us I mean there's seven people in the studio right now but when I can just shred whatever, get rid of the clutter, get rid of the stuff I've been holding on to. Like, I got one of these for my mom, because for four years sitting in the garage were boxes mm. that she was moving around all the time from when my grandmother passed away, estate mm. papers. That's right, yeah. And she couldn't just throw them away, because they're family information. I got her one of these, because what was she? She was waiting for that one day at the school or at the bank where she could bring all her shred in, and then hopefully they would take care of it. This way she was able to do it in front of the TV. And you see it's not overheating, it doesn't jam. You mentioned that hotel room key, done. Credit cards, hotel room keys, staples. Yep. Uh, the other thing I do is I use my, uh, my waist, if you will, as packing material. For, so when I'm sending gifts that. to friends and family, mm -hmm. I just use that. So I just, you know, it's my, my little way of going green as much as I can. Well, it does take up a lot less room too when it's a micro cut. And the thing is, this is that 70s strip shred, that 30 piece puzzle. But I mean, Cal, you can see plain as day, I can too. There's someone's phone number, there's someone's address. 
can't really use this as packing material because one slip could be someone's identity. That's a slip of your identity. And you know what? You taught me something. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I interrupt fine. your thought. The same 100 pages. This is microcut. It's a smaller bag. But really, you can't identify There's not anything. a possibility of putting anything together. Uh -huh. I see one, maybe half of a letter here. And no, I've used this too as packing material. Have you? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it feels good, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little thing, but yeah. um, the thing, what I was going to say that Bill taught me is that once you take and put your trash to the street mm -hmm. before, you know, trash day, that's public. That's yeah. public Fair property. Game. So anybody could potentially just go into your trash can and pull out whatever pages they want, and that's just not a risk I'm willing to take, and I don't want you to either, because from what I've heard, having your identity stolen is a nightmare. It takes years to fix and remedy, if not thousands of dollars, and just the headache that it could be. Mm -hmm. When I've got an option to be able to just shred and know that I'm minimizing that risk, I'm all in. Well, that's I hope you it. are, too. A lot of us think, oh, I've been, someone got my identity, I gotta call the one credit card, or the three credit bureaus. You have to fill out this 68-page document with the Federal Trade Commission to monitor and prove who you are, say who you are. And that's not just one time, that's for years to come. That's why we went to the Federal Trade Commission's webpage, and this is what they told us. There's many steps a consumer can take to reduce the risk of being an identity theft victim. For example, closely guard your social security number, we get that, but they go as far as to say, shred charge receipts, shred credit applications, shred other sensitive documents. That other's gonna be different for a dorm room, for a home office, for, you know, a kid, anywhere. Because, you know, that's just it. We all have pertinent information. It comes off the printer, it comes in filing cabinets, it comes in the mail, and when we can just shred it, Get rid of the clutter. Like you said, it was therapeutic. We like to call it shredding therapy mm. because it does. It gets that, I need to take care of that. I need to dispose of that. I'm just going to load it up. And the thing is, you see what happens? It just all gets crumpled up and just disappears. Gobbles it up. And then when you put this out at the curb, what was the credit card offer? What's the medical record? And I just, look at this. Remember that one piece I took the true risk of? Look at how much space that one <laughs> takes up versus all this. And you know what? Yes, there are dumpster divers, but then there's even the privacy factor. Have you ever had a windy night and your garbage can gets knocked over? And then your neighbors know that you have a legal thing going on oh, or gosh. a paycheck stub right. or prescription information? You know what? Don't even risk it. I don't need it anymore. I scanned it. I, nope, whatever. Gone. And you know what? Ten sheets at a time. Yep. That's another benefit. I mean, it takes multiple pages and credit cards and staples. And this is definitely a great buy on a shredder from a name brand that it's it's just a bestseller nationwide. Can you find MC in any big distort? Yes, you can. You're going to spend 120 bucks on the same shredder. We're giving it to you for $20 less. Added the free shipping, so there's an additional savings. Plus, we're giving you so much great software. It's $120 in software. It includes hard disk shield, ransomware defender, smart privacy cleaner, and the hack her up for your Facebook security. All of that being said, this is a $250 bundle that we're doing at a fraction of that cost, especially on a flex pay. It's a $20 bill to know that you're doing the right thing and maybe you've got yours, make sure your family members do. If you've got somebody starting out in their own apartment on their own for the first time. And the thing is, that's just it. It's their first apartment, it's their first car. Kids and seniors are the most susceptible. A million more women a year. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, most of us don't realize, I'm gonna go get that new car. I'm gonna get that great financing deal. Oh, I'm not. Because so much, yeah. someone has my identity. This is just a first line of defense. It's easy, it's a small footprint. It's great and affordable to get at home. Because yes. the sooner you start shredding and getting that habit of junk mail and cleaning off the thing I just put through the scanner, it's gone and it feels great to get rid of it. You know, and the truth is, we're not here trying to scare you or alarm you. I mean, this is just a fact of life. Mm -hmm. We should just be taking care of this and when you can do it at home in your own convenient environment, it just makes sense. So all these colors are still here, black and rose, blue, most limited, purple, silver, burgundy, and red. Everybody gets the whole software bundle, yep. and I like this software. And realize, we'll have Embassy again, because you guys oh, like yeah. our embassies, but all of them are gonna be more expensive and bigger. This is perfect. Yeah, thank you. It's a sweet yeah. spot for all of us. 566-366. Do you know what Bill and I have next? <laughs> <laughs> We have an iPad coming up. It's mm -hmm. really exciting. We've got options for you. We've got the best price anywhere in the country. Financing opportunities and well as well. That's coming up right after this. Have you signed up for your HSN email? Sign up for HSN email.